Here we have a S Y A G A V L E D. Um, it's a 300 watt unit. Here you can see voltage can be from 120 to 240. It doesn't matter. It puts out, it's a 300 watt unit, it puts out about 127, which is normal for 300 watt LEDs. There really is no standard. Um, basically, the total of the diodes equals 300 watts. Um, but because LEDs are more efficient, it ends up putting out less wattage over, or uses less wattage compared to what it is rated for. It's the same for all the LEDs, there's no different. This one, it kind of looks like it's coming out purple on the camera, but it's actually very white, which I really like. It's actually become one of my top favorites. Um, I've always had really good luck with the LEDs that have more white in them. This is sitting about 12 inches up. Um, this is a 2x2 two two G Leaf tent um, at about 18 inches, which is what I would recommend you growing at. It lights this 2x2 two two tent very, very well. Um, I don't, you wouldn't have any problems growing in this entire tent, no problem with this little light here. Um, the footprint of the over light, uh, light overall, I mean it's about a foot by 10 inches or so. Um, it connects up to here, this carabiner, um, the rope ratchet is not included but I would recommend getting one. Um, comes down to a four point hanging harness. I'm not the biggest fan of these because they spin so easily. Um, but you can easily hook up two uh, rope ratchets, take out the carabiner, and do two on one side, two on another. That would stable it completely better with two carabiners in there. Um, let's see if you can see the spectrum. Uh, you see there's a lot of white, blue, reds. Um, I really like the white. The white is more of a full spectrum light. Um, you can see the overall footprint is very white, so it has reds and blues to help spread the spectrum, but the white is the real full spectrum. I've had a lot of luck with white, so I'm hoping this will really perform. Um, this goes to my top favorite LEDs. Um, you got a fan on top, you can kind of hear it running. You can definitely feel it sucking in the air. It doesn't really put out too much heat so far. I've only had it running for a short time though. Um, just to do a little test on it. You'll see some light chart output in the description. Um, if you like what you see, check it out.